Hi y'all, it's Amazaka here and today I want to share a little project I uh, created after, well, the inspiration for the cover came from Ginger on my sister's scrapper and she does her little waterfolio, a waterfall for you and I used that cover as my base but inside I have like a traveler's notebook so basically it's the same size as she has her cover and that is four and a half by eight and a half inches and the spine is one inch and I decorated the uh, cover and the notebooks with papers from American Crafts from the Peachy Keen collection. It's an older one but I have had these for quite some time and I've been saving these so I decided to go for it and use it. Uh, so I used this beautiful pattern for the cover and then this pattern in the middle and added this beautiful silver doily from Studio Calico, a banner, circle and this pretty cream flower from Prima Marketing and also have some animal animal <laughs> animal dots from uh, my mind's eye sorry and then on the back I just have these two banners then I have a ribbon here and a charm I was it one that I made using several different kinds of beads tiny camera one, bird and bird cage, and this pink one and this teardrop one or drop one. And I attach these large eyelets from Remember Keepers to keep it from ripping. So let's just open it up. So inside I've created three notebooks and first of all I have a little pocket here and that I got some glue on here. A glassine bag that I decorate with the uh, pattern paper and a flare from October afternoon. And I also added this label uh, which is a printable from Studio Calico on the top as well. And you have two tags in here decorated with pattern paper and then stamped on the back. And these stamps are from uh, American Crafts as well. This is the Jenny Bowling ink and this is Memento ink. And of course you can add a bit more to these bags. So the first notebook is here. There's a pad and paper on the cover. And then this is a diggy stamp from Somewhat Girl. And I coloured that using my coloured pencils and then lay these different kinds of punch outs here just to give it a bit more oomph to it I suppose <laughs> so let's have a look so this is just copy paper and I've stamped some of these with the uh, stamp from American Crafts and then this is a piece of pattern paper and yeah, just keep going and then I've attached these two smaller ones just know to say I miss you dearly. And this is just a paper clip star. I got this one from IKEA. Got a whole bunch. And basically I these are bound with twine. And then I have this ribbon going through the holes each and every notebook. And it's just flicking through. And that star clip and piece of paper on the other half of that pattern paper. And so on. And there's a second notebook. Put two banners here on top. Also stamped here in the pattern paper. And another piece. Oops. And a clip for two journaling spots, stamps and a piece of pattern paper and again and there's the third one 
and Ben is here as well. Bit of stamping, and then this piece of pattern paper to journaling spots, photo mats, and another spot and that pattern paper. And then here at the back you have another glazing bag, these pennants, and a flare from October afternoon. And two tags as well, stamped with the same stamps as I've been doing throughout the book. And then the back. So I was initially going to be creating a waterfall mini, but then I thought, well, I've been seeing these faux Midoris all over the place, so why not just make this into a notebook, like a hardcover faux Midori, <laughs> really. Just a hardcover book that you can basically put your notebooks and you can always take them out. It's no problem at all. But I just wanted to make it, it could be an album of course, but I thought it'd like a traveller's notebook or just a journal sketchbook or whatever. I just, I really like how it turned out. I'm quite pleased with it and I plan on making more. I might just add different kinds of pockets or anything else to that. Loads of ideas to be used. So I hope you like this little portrait of mine and thanks for watching.